What's good, Humble Squad? It's your boy, Humble Ziggy. We back here with another reaction. And hey, as you see, we're here with Token Big Ben Freestyle. Now, judging by how the video looks and such, it looks like he's in a London and such. Well, duh, obviously by Big Ben and such. So, of course, like in England or so. So, London, England to be exact. But look. I just realized right I, w I was like thinking before this reaction that did I ever reacted to token before and I went to go check on my channel turns out the last reaction that I have of token was two years ago and the last one was with him and Rico nasty high heels so, so when I tell y'all that over the course of the past two years and such, Nerdcore has really like been been on the main stain of how my channel is. I'm sorry, as we, I've always known Token can kill it and such, but let's face it. I've said it before, and I, I've said it before recently. And I'll say it again. Sometimes when it comes to your music taste, you gotta have some diversity. That meaning that nigga. Nerdcore has most I, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I've been jamming nerd, ever since that I've came upon the nerdcore scene. With all due respects to the likes of Token and such, I've been distanced from like the mainstream music because Nine times out of ten, I've said it before and I said it again, most mainstream songs and underrated ones like Token and such, not to be disrespectful, but it just doesn't hit like it used to for me. Some does, some doesn't, but most of the times they always just be the same. But that don't mean that they ain't fire. So either way, we about to go back into some Token and such and look. If y'all want me to do more token reactions, let me know in the comments down below. And let me know of any recent ones he's dropped besides from this one and such. So that way I can readjust readjust myself back into liking token again. Not to say I didn't like him before, but his music more. But either way, we're about to check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get in the video. I got suspended in fifth grade for what they found in my backpack Ever since mm. then I decided to fill up a jean pocket instead We got a steep tolerance, three bottles ahead mm. My bro just reached profit again He was down when I was in a steam doctor with meds My grandma keeps calling again She got mm. dementia so I got a reminder She's talking to Ben And Ben sings songs mm. that he penned And Ben reads straws in the wreck She remembered mm -hmm. to crack the big smile Ah, the rich grandchild One thing I've never let It's basically like this This is like look Thing going on with Screwface John talking about who is the best white rapper and look I might be pushing the jump and such now hear me out when I say this I can't say who's the best white right I can't say well you would have to say most people would majority would say Eminem and such right but if I'm gonna talk around like around my age group right let me just say around my age group token is the best white young rap is the best young white rapper that's how i'm gonna look at it right that's how i'm gonna look at it like because with the nerdcore i'm gonna leave it to that side well actually i could say rustage too but he's mostly the nerdcore side he's still the best to me on the nerdcore side don't get it twisted but if, like, if we're talking in the realm of this and such, in like, you can say underground, mainstream, and whatnot, I would have to give it to Token for the young, for like my age group, young and such. Three bottles ahead. My bro just reached profit again. He was down, but now he's in a steam doctor with meds. My grandma keeps calling again. Yeah. She got dementia, so I got a reminder. She's, She's talking, talking to ben. ben. Ben sings songs that he penned. And Ben reads straws in the red. Mm. She remembered to crack the big smile. Ah, the rich grandchild. Mm. 
The pants are hand crested and style Can't stress, we stand idle, stand prepped and stand filed Money didn't just stretch, it had to cramp stretch and ran miles My girl prefer the type of Money didn't have a stretch, it just Hold up Money didn't stretch, just cramped Stretch, hold up, hold up. Basically saying my money does more than just stretched out Idle, stand prepped and stand filed uh, Money didn't just stretch, stretch and had to cramp stretch and ran miles out. My girl Money didn't have a Money didn't stretch Cramped Stretched and ran miles and that money long that many long as hell. Oh, Press we stand me. idle, stand prepped and stand fire. Money didn't just stretch and had to cramp stress and ran miles. miles. My girl prefer the type of date with a man's dress with glamour style, and I prefer mm. the type of drunk where I can't text and can't dial. Mm. Might give this Amex to my grandchild. I don't live like I used to when I was less established, but I still do got a kitchen drawer full of them ketchup packets. Cause I still got messy habits, and I still like girls who tend to lash out. Now they just got some more expensive lashes, and I got more sense of fat. I mean, look, that's your type of woman. RB for you. All powers to you, but all I'm saying for me, sometimes there's a play time and place to bring out the to bring out the the outlandish. Cause I would want to say ratchet, ghetto this, but let's face it, that's gonna like stick to. That's gonna always like say that stick to black people. Look, at the end of the day, it don't matter if you're black, white. It don't matter if you if you at ghetto. You at ghetto. Simple as that. Text and can't dial. Might give this Amex to my grandchild. I don't live like I used to when I was less established. Damage. But I still do got a kitchen drawer full of them ketchup packets. Cause mm. I still got messy habits. And I still like girls who tend to lash out. Yo. Now they just got some more expensive, expensive lashes. lashes. And I got more sense of fashion. But I still stay dressed in black with some oversized. To remind me of the shirt my father left me as a kid before the soldier died. Mm. R.I.P. He was a writer too. But not like me, I'm the type of writer to treat my secrets like everyone's business My mm. ex a musician and all we do is trade subliminal petty ass This is so once you drop, I'm the first or second to listen I give the girl so many streams, I should sign her to never too different <laughs> I mean, hey Even though she your ex, you gonna listen to her song Look, one thing with Tolkien Tolkien is gonna be And look In the way how this trend is nowadays, now and such where look we get it you can't always want to take yourself serious but look at this point hold on feel a burp coming sorry in a way like how i just did when the burp and such throughout the reaction almost at the reaction look at this point nobody well i can just say for my for me right i don't know about anybody else but this whole thing about you being a tough guy, tough rapper, a tough gangster rapper, look, at this point, nobody's gonna wanna pay attention. Because if that's what mainly you are all about in your music and such, at that point, it don't even show that you can have fun anymore. Like, you, like, show some personality. Because if you're just all serious all the time, I'm sorry. I may like bars and all that and such, but if I don't find a little charisma in you, like a little personality, funniness, and just because you're funny, that don't mean people are going to still think you're soft, nigga. What? Come on now. You're real. Always hear the saying, don't judge a book by its cover, because just because that person may show a little, that rapper may show a little charisma, a little funny and such, don't get it twisted. Mess with him the wrong way, and he can mess you up. I mean, look at the baby. For many times, people were always saying about how he might be looking goofy and such. But rest assured, y'all gotta remember, and this is real. This ain't fake. This man literally went into Wal. This man defended himself and his daughter in a Walmart and shot the nigga who tried to harm him and his daughter's life. And at one point, the man really put hands on somebody. So trust me. Just because he, just because a rapper want to show a little personality, do not think he's soft. Simple as that. Still like girls who tend to lash out. Now they just got some more expensive lashes, and I got more sense of fashion. But I still stay dressed in black okay. with some oversized to remind me of the shirt my father left me as a kid before the soldier died. Mm. R.I.P. He was a writer too. 
but not like me. I'm the type of writer to treat my secrets like everyone's business. business. My ex a musician, and all we do is trade subliminal pity. Yes, this is so once he drop, I'm the first or second to listen. I give the girl so many streams, I should sign her to never too different. different. Crazy. I literally would. She really fucking good. <laughs> My crib is in the woods, my whip begin and looks mm. I'm not even a car person, just a sentimental dude I'm trying to wife a German to make my German whip feel understood I'm trying to mm. wife a Swiss girl so my hoodie feel less alone And more at home, the shot not me so well I always thought it was corner zone when I'm on tour Damn, he just, at this point, he just He ain't even trying to pull up a story about something and such He's just telling what he likes Literally rapping about what his preference is And what he likes in women and such Man said he gonna tr wanna try to wife a Swiss girl that way this hoodie don't feel alone. Man say he likes them type of ladies who lash out. All I gotta say is nigga, be careful what you wish for, cause you might get it. Really <laughs> woods, you're really fucking good. My crib is in the woods, my whip begin and looks. I'm not even a car person, just a sentimental dude. I'm trying to wife a German to make my German whip feel understood. So, I'm trying mm. to wife a Swiss girl so my hoodie feel less alone oh. and more at home. The shot not me so well, I always thought it was corner zone when I'm on tour alone and I'm depressed before a show. I read the comments on shit I released. I screenshot and zoom into the avatar around who's the hardest critic on me. Mm. Usually a man who's old and pale as my oldest and palest uncle explaining mm. how my flow is a little off beat. Then I picture his child and that puts me back on my feet. Mm. The movie I live, I wrote directly. Record package and stream. Sometimes you gotta step back and just laugh at the scene. Mm. Great goose in a large cell. Whoever that old and pale person was. Who, who was that? Whoever that old and pale person he saying about. Whoever you is, nigga. Really? You talk. Do you know how many rappers who? Do you know how many of your favorite rappers probably go off beat too on songs? And it don't be even sounding good. Cause there's a, it's basically like this. I don't I would never judge a rapper if they want to go off beat. But when they don't time it right and such in doing an off beat song, that's just trash. Cause it's not because you can get creative with going off beat. Don't get it twisted. But if you're if you're gonna go off beat and you don't land it perfectly, then it's trash. That's how I look at it. I picture his child and that puts me back on my, my feet. feet. The movie I live, I wrote the record package and stream. Sometimes you gotta step back, back and, and just, just laugh at the scene. scene. Great goose in a large cell, so I wanna be God's helper. I'm harder to get a hold of. So if my cousin got questions about me, my mom tells her I'm trying to text my cousin, but she don't mm. get no reception inside of a bomb shelter. Mm. She got evacuated, makes my reason for not responding feel a bit antiquated. Label mm. meanings always go well, but still seem exaggerated. But one thing they don't know is that advanced money put my sister in a brand new house to stay mm. sober. And so even though I was never priority, I still owe one big. And even mm. though I'm the best rapper my age, I don't promote this shit. And I'm open to being wrong, but if I'm wrong, let me know who is goldie bitch and we're too different <laughs> miss it i don't know i'm i'm surprised nobody within that whole entire thing when he was doing that shit never once interrupted but it is what it is but like i said in the way of how the who's the best white rapper and such I gotta say token like around my age group because I gotta be specific with that. The best young white rapper. Gotta be specific with that one because that's how I feel of it today. Because if, if we're gonna say in like overall and such, then you would have to go with Eminem. I'm sorry, right? And I like Eminem. Don't get it twisted. I like, some, I like most of his songs. But if we're gonna go who like Young and such for my age group, cause y'all gotta remember, I'm 23 at the time when you seen this reaction. I'm 23, so in a way, I have to find some some rappers, white, black, it don't matter, who are around my age group and who I feel is fire. And if I gotta go with the white and with the white ones, I gotta go with Token. So it is what it is. But y'all, let me know who y'all favorite white rapper is and such, whether young, old, whatever. Let me know in the comments below. And if you made it to the end of this reaction, comment down below. Preferences. And that makes me know you made it to the end. But it's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because we are on the road to 2K. And 
if you want me to react to any more token songs or freestyles or whatever just let me know in the comments below there you go